All right, so day three here at Wimbledon is complete. Um, thought I'd come on and uh, do a little uh, recap of these first three days. Um, now that we have uh, sub substantial results to kind of sink our teeth into. Um, talk about what we've seen so far. Um, specifically, uh, I want to talk about some of the matches I was able to watch today. Um, Fourth of July here in the States. Happy Fourth of July to any Americans watching, but uh, I was able to watch quite a bit of tennis today. Um, so thought I'd give my thoughts and uh, uh, quite a few upsets already. A lot of, a lot of uh, very uh, eventful uh, matches and uh, significant results. So should be quite a bit to discuss. Um, but uh, let's just get started on the men's side. Uh, and I'll kind of just go th run through the draw. Um, top half, obviously, mostly. Uh, into the third round, bottom half is just, we're just through one match, so it won't be as much to discuss there, but uh, let's begin, as we always do, with Roger Federer, um, clean through two matches, he looked incredible today, um, and I know that's what we expect from him, um, but I mean, he really impressed, just watching him today it was a reminder of, of how easy and effortless he makes it look, um, beating Lachiko 4-4-1, four, four, has not uh, played a, a set closer than 6-4 so far in his first two matches. And, uh, yeah, I mean, he was just, you know, showing his full arsenal today, as he always does. Um, so comfortable on serve. Uh, really, I thought Lasko played pretty well those first two sets. Um, but uh, if Federer's on his game, that that doesn't matter, you know. <laughs> He's going to uh, to route you, um, you know, a pretty in pretty convincing fashion. That's what he did. Um uh, yeah, like I said, it's just effortless, and um, if he's serving well, it, it, he is just, it seems like it, he's really found his rhythm, you know, already, you know, through two matches here, so expect more of the same here. Um, George went out uh, in this section early first round, which, you know, I probably should have, you know, I mentioned, I thought, you know, we were going to see Federer play George again, but I probably should have given Medvedev a little bit more credit. Um, he's a really tricky player, especially on, on grass, on, on a faster service where the ball bounces low. Um, and he took him out easily uh, in the first round there and then won against and against Garcia Lopez. So he, he looks to be the guy who might be able to, I'm not going to say beat Federer, but maybe, you know, scare put some fear into him. He's got Manorino next. Um, he's definitely got... Um, you know, more firepower, but Manny Rio is a tricky grass court player himself, so uh, that'll be a fun match. Federer plays uh, Struff, who beat Karlovic in a crazy five-setter, 13-11 uh, in the fifth, but um, yeah, I mean, Federer, I don't think, is going to have any trouble uh, getting through, through these next two matches, although, you know, these are decent players. Um, you know, his level will need to significantly dip for, for any of that to happen. Um, and really, same thing with the next section. So, um, Query got through today um, and has, has got through his first two matches pretty easily. Um, and it looks like he's setting up a collision course with Anderson, um, who is up two sets to one uh, against Seppi. That match was suspended due to rain. So, um, and also Cole Schreiber up one set uh, on Muller. So, yeah, some more, you know, I guess kind of good players, but nothing that's going to, I think, Trouble this version of Federer. Um, and kind of moving into the second quarter, so uh, this has held up so far. Uh, Raonic uh, has progressed into the third round. Um, he'll face Novak, the qualifier, who upset Puy today. Really bad loss for Puy. He should have taken advantage of this draw and at least made the third round. Actually came back from two sets down, um, but then lost the fifth. So his, his results have been kind of kind of funky uh, in the slams the way the last year or so. Um, hoping for him to be a little bit more consistent, but uh, either way, I, I would have picked Ronich to win that match. And then um, still think he's going to face Chilich, who is up two sets to none on Pella. Um, and if he gets through that match, he'll face uh, Mackenzie McDonald, who, has a, who had a really great win today against Nicholas Hari. 11-9 uh, in the fifth. Um, this kid has really impressed me, um, kind of come out of nowhere. Um, uh, isn't a very big guy, uh, but uh, really understands how to play this game. It seems like, um, and uh, so nice results for for Mackie McDonald. Uh, but yeah, getting ready for that Chilich, 
uh, roundage match uh, on Manic Monday. That'll be a fun one if it uh, if it does happen. Uh, uh, moving on, uh, John Isner. This is this is wild. So Isner was up two sets and four love, I believe, in the third set tiebreak. Ended up losing that tiebreak and then losing a fourth set tiebreak, and is now in the fifth set. Uh, and that match was also suspended uh, against Bemelman, so uh, John really needs to pull this out. This would be a terrible loss. Um, in an open section now that Dimitrov has lost, um, he really has a chance to make the quarterfinals, and he cannot screw this up, you know. Uh, I, I, can't, I guess I just can't emphasize it enough, um, because this section is kind of blown open. Um, Favrinka, you know, he beat Dimitrov, obviously. That was a really a terrible loss for Dimitrov, because Stan is... Looking like he's not going to get through the second round. He's down two sets to Fabiano, um, and I, I when I saw you know that that he beat Dimitrov, I was kind of puzzled. I, I was you know, you know is Stan actually back or or is this just a bad loss for Dimitrov? And I, yeah, it looks like it was just a bad loss for Dimitrov because um, you know Vavrinka looks like he's not going to progress any further. So um, yeah. We'll see if Isner can kind of hold 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 his serve, I guess, as far as you know, making it out of this section. Um, it's it's wide open. You also have uh, Sitsipas, who is up two sets to one on Donaldson, um, but Jared was kind of turning the momentum in that match. So Stefanos has to be really happy that the that the rain kind of stopped play because um, he was losing his footing in that match. I didn't see any of it, but just based on the scoreline, um, so they'll resume that tomorrow. Uh, and then let's work our way into the bottom half. I'm not going to talk too much about it because I didn't see any of the matches on this half, and they've only, you know, we've only seen one match, obviously. Um, yeah, so let's see. Uh, this is where actually we we know we already knew it was open. Um, it's even more open now with some of these um, results. Um, so Dominic Team retiring in his first match against Baghdadis. I don't know what the injury was. Um, but really, this is, shouldn't be too much of a shock. We know he plays a lot of tennis and um, also probably wasn't going to progress very far in this tournament. So I don't think that changes much here. Obviously, Djokovic is in this section, and he won convincingly in his first-round match. Um, he still looks to be the favorite, uh, I would say, to get to the quarterfinals here. Um, some other notable results. Nice win for Francis Tiafo against uh, Verdasco in four sets. Um, really nice to see him get that result. I think it's only his third career uh, slam win. He always gets tough draws, uh, so nice to nice to see that. And he's got a very workable section here with with Benito next, and then um, he won't. I mean, he he won't face a seated player until the fourth round if he can get there. So, hoping for good things for Francis. Um, moving on down, uh, no upsets in this next section. Um, Kyrgios got through a tough four setter against Istomin. No breaks of serve until the very end of that match. Um, so Nick's got to work on the return a little bit more, I think, but he served incredibly well. I just based on the stats, I think he had over 40 aces. So um, good to see Nick uh, serving well. He's got Haza next. Should be workable. And then Nishikori looming um, in the third round. Uh, Zverev, easy, easy win against Duckworth. Um, sets up an interesting match against Fritz. Um, hope that's competitive, but I would expect Zverev to get through that. And then uh, Del Potro's path got even easier. Um, got through his first match. He does have Lopez next, um, and possibly Shapovalov losing, but David Gofan lost um, in straight sets uh, to Matt Ebden. That's pretty surprising that it was so convincing. I mean, Ebden, I guess, is... I don't know, a decent grass court player. I really don't know. But, uh, yeah, I don't know what happened there. Um, Gofan usually is so consistent. I, I don't expect results like that from him. Um, and then Jack Sock. I, I don't even want to spend much time on this. Blue two-set lead. It's not worth my time. Um, that's just an embarrassing loss for him. And his ranking, obviously, is going to fall off a cliff in about four months. So that'll be interesting. Um, and then very bottom section, uh, Rafa Cruz's... Uh, uh, Misha Zverev goes out in straight sets, really surprising. I faced uh, Pierre Huga Herbert, another serve and volley player, so uh, kind of similar styles in that match, but I had Zverev going very far in this tournament. I had him beating Rafa Nadal. I, I mentioned that in, in the draw preview. Obviously, Herbert can also pose similar challenges, but uh, Zverev coming off a title, 
you know, I'm always never sure about those guys. Sometimes they can make good runs. Sometimes they're tired. So maybe that was the case here. I don't know. But it's kind of a disappointing loss from Misha, um, you know, where he comes to Wimbledon playing good tennis and then doesn't do anything. So, um, yeah, Ruff has got Kukushkin next, who beat Pospisil. Uh, we'll see how that one goes for him. Everyone seems to be real, I don't know, for some reason, confident that he's going to make a deep run here. And I said before, you know, he hasn't proven it over the last five years, but uh, but we will see. Um, so, yeah, a few upsets, mostly on the bottom half, uh, mostly on that, that second day uh, of play. Doesn't really change the outlook of the tournament for me, I don't think. I don't think any of the guys that lost I really had going deep too far. Um, and most of the upsets were on the women's side, and uh, we'll talk about that now. Um, ton of upsets, my goodness. Five of the top eight seeds are out. Uh, so that really shakes things up in what I already thought was a really deep draw, um, a deep field, uh, a lot of players that could win it. So a lot of those names are knocked off, but there's still some good players out there. Um, top half of the draw, this is, is the half that's only played one match. Um, so I won't spend too much time on it, but uh, uh, Simona Halep got through her first round match. Um, I think she's still the favorite to get through this quarter contest here. Mertens is here, but uh, she's playing with confidence. Um, I expect her to progress uh, through these next three matches with relative ease. Um, second section, well, the second section is very interesting because Kvitova not, was knocked out, and I, I really thought she was maybe, maybe not the favorite, but definitely one of the top three favorites to win this title. I'm stunned. I'm absolutely stunned that she lost this match. Uh, to Sasnovich, 6-11 in the third set. I mean, I don't know what that is. That's all about. Um, really, 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 really big surprise um, to see her go out. Uh, Maria Sharapova also going out. That's not as much of a surprise. I just, I don't think we're going to see her best maybe ever again. Um, but, uh, yeah, so I don't know how significant of a result that is. So uh, Ostapenko becomes a huge favorite. Um, to get out of this uh, section, I don't see anyone that's really can match her firepower. Um, so if she can stay uh, pretty consistent, um, she can have a nice shot at a deep run. Third section is pretty much held up, and I think this is the most loaded section. So many good players. Muguruza, um, Barty, and Kasatkina all got through their first round match. Um, and so did Kontaveit. All the all four seeds got through their first round match. Um, obviously, Muguruza is uh, the favorite here, but uh, I really like Ash Barty and her game on grass. I'm kind of hoping that can that can be a potential fourth round match um, because it could be a really interesting one. Um, and then the fourth section features well, this was Garcia's section, and she was knocked out by Belinda Bencic. Great win for Bencic. I hope she can build on it this time. You know, she knocked out Venus first round in Australia and then went out in the next round. So I hope she can kind of build on this. Um, she's got a tough grass court player in risk next. Um, but there's some other good players in this section. Osaka and Kerber both were strong in their first round. And that's a potential third round clash. Gosh, what a match that would be. Um, so we'll see if they can continue to progress and, and, and meet in the third round. Um, but yeah, I, I would say if you combine this section and the third section, that second quarter is, is really loaded. Um, uh, you know, it's early on and there's a lot of matches still to come, but, uh, it looks like there's some contenders in that specific area of the draw. Uh, bottom half, this is where we've seen a lot of upsets and where, um, we've already seen two matches played. So, um, Karolina Pushkova, great win today against Azarenka, 6-3, 6-3. Um, finally getting out of the second round at Wimbledon. I can't believe it took this long with her serve. Um, but nice result for her. Um, didn't really see too much of it. Um, but I don't even know if she faced a break point. So she really served well, I guess. Um, she's got uh, Buzar Nescu next, who's making another nice run. Um, and then Venus Williams also in this section. Um, so saw pretty much all of this match today. Another slow start for Venus. She's dropped the first set in her first two matches. This is pretty typical for her. Um, you know, she's always able to put uh, put that out of her mind and bounce back strong, and she did it again today. 
um, won the next two sets convincingly against uh, Dulgaru, who really played a nice first set. Um, but once Venus found her game, uh, there was no looking back. So uh, Williams and Pushkova, that's, I would say, the likely fourth-round match, and it would be a really good one. Um, both players are really, I would say, confident on this surface. Um, so we'll see if that happens. Uh, six section, it's not completely complete. Uh, there were some matches that didn't get finished today due to the rain. Uh, but the, the real headliner here is Donna Vekic, who upset Sloane Stevens 6-1, 6-3 in the first round. That is uh, really shocking. I guess uh, Sloane is still one of those players that's just really hot and cold, and right now she's cold, um, even after her French Open win. But uh, Vekic... Uh, uh, built on her res result and won today. So she's into the fourth round. Um, that's a nice result. And then the other big seed here is Gerges, and she won today in three. So um, I don't think there's any challengers as far as possible winners in this section, but uh, um, I mean, it's mostly due to the fact that Stevens was upset. So we'll see who can get out of this section. It's pretty open, I think. And then seven sections. So this is also a pretty loaded section. Um, talk about a couple of these matches. Keys uh, today defeated Kumkum six four six three. I didn't think she looked that great, um, but she won the big points. And obviously, we know she's a threat to do well here. Um, and she's got Rodinia next, which should be an easy win. So I think she's I think she's fourth round bound at least. And then uh, top half of the draw is Serena, um, who looked really good today. I think she played better than she did in the first round today against an opponent that's not very good. But um, she, she looked comfortable to me. Um, she's into the third round where she'll face Mladenovic, who, if she's confident, can definitely give her a test. Um, but I think we're all kind of zeroing in on a, a Williams Keys fourth round match. That would really be a great a great battle. Um, I'd say both those players have the potential to make a run here, even maybe win the thing. So um, all eyes on that for sure. And then the very bottom. Um, so a couple upsets. Obviously first round, uh, Vandeweg went out. That's disappointing. But she's another player who's hot and cold. I mean, if she She's playing good on the grass. She can definitely make a run, but wasn't to be. She lost to Cindy Akova. Um, actually, I think all the seeds have been dumped from this section, so it's wide open. Um, Radvanska lost today. Um, and then Wozniacki lost today. <laughs> Crazy third set. Looked like she was going to come back from the dead. Makarova was choking incredibly badly, um, but somehow pulled it out um, and moved on. So... Disappointing for Wozniak. She just never plays well here. I don't know why. She just came off a win in Eastbourne. Doesn't really make sense. But uh, Makarova can be a tricky player on grass. So she will actually play another lefty kind of similar to her in Safarova. Both are tricky players. Um, that'll be an intriguing matchup uh, in the third round. Um, but this is an open section, obviously. So an unseeded player is going to get into the quarters. And uh, good for them. So... Yeah, some, some crazy stuff on the women's side, but still many good players, uh, many threats to win this title. Um, pretty open. And then on the men's side, Roger Federer continues to give us no reason to think that he's not the favorite. Um, so good stuff so far. I'm thinking maybe another uh, video update uh, at the end of the week um, after the third round, uh, kind of summarizing where we're at. Um, but uh, yeah, let me know what you guys think. Um, what have you thought about the tournament so far? Um, and what are you looking forward to, I guess, over the next couple days? Um, and let me know what you thought of the video. All right, thanks, guys.